What's happening YouTube world, social media, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you guys might be watching this video at. Uh, I know it's been a minute since I dropped a video, but I wanted to do this one real quick. I'm getting ready to head out to the Damon Johns uh, seminar that he's hosting right here in my city in Gaston, which I'm thankful. Shout out, shout out to Damon Johns and his team. Uh, another shark from Shark Tank is hosting. So if you have a chance to see or if you have a chance, if he's coming to your area, I think it would be very beneficial, especially for us in the Leathercraft world, to learn the secrets of how to launch your products online and have some online, remarkable online sales, as well as uh, increase, learn how to scale your business and some other things like that. But that's not what the purpose of this video is about. Um, this video is but it, it is some good information so again shout out to damon johns and his team uh, uh from shark tank that's coming in to teach young entrepreneurs young business owners how to scale and promote and push your businesses and your products online but the purpose of this video is i want to drop two more golden nuggets um uh for you guys of course you know right now we're probably about we're less than 20 weeks less than 20 weeks away from the biggest holiday of the year, which is Christmas. So as a leather crafter, if you haven't start taking orders now, you need to start doing so now. Uh, one nugget that I would like to drop you guys so you don't be overwhelmed with products is what I did this year. Uh, I only selected a few products uh, from my from from the leather line or from from the products that I do I only selected a few and I'm running them as a special now you guys don't have to do that uh, if you follow with me on Instagram Facebook uh, any social media platform Twitter or if you saw uh, any of my posts that's advertising my ad campaigns for the men this year I put a two-piece combo together which is the minimalist wallets which uh, I did a video on these before. The minimalist wallets are very popular right now. So if you guys are looking to get up into small projects that maximize a lot of money, you can do that with the minimalist wallets. So, and what I've done, now let me move that out of the way. Uh, what I've done, I incorporated the minimalist wallets and you get a matching belt. That is a set for the men. Now that is something simple. Uh, something that I can tool out very quickly, get very uh, quick, uh, get done very fast, and it doesn't overwhelm me on Christmas orders. Now, that's not to say turn down any other projects that people might be doing for Christmas gifts. But if you have those, you can make a bunch of those in your spare time. The minimalist wallets, um, simple tooling work, simple pattern, uh, and you could probably crank out 20 or more a week. And you can already have those pre-stamped, pre-tooled. You can just stick with a couple of basic patterns, tooling patterns on those. And then you can just match the belt to whichever the client calls in. Uh, you can get you a nice uh, eight to nine ounce hide of leather and tool those out to match. So when the customer chooses uh, the pattern that they like, you can just scratch that off your list. Now, as for me, I'm pressing and printing up a hundred of them. So... And that's a set. That's 100 belts and 100 minimalist wallets for the men. Now, for the women, uh, I'm doing a completely different set uh, on those still the two projects, but I'm going to feature the leather cuffs or the leather bands, and the women will get a nice wristlet. Uh, now, wristlets are very popular as far as women. So uh, a lot of you female crafters out there, you know what I'm talking about when I mean a wristlet. Uh, if you're a male crafter and you don't know what a wristlet is, ask a female in your family. They'll tell you what a wristlet is. Very simple. You can get them very, you can make them up very quickly. You probably can do a same number, 20 to 30 uh, a week. And you, once you get your pattern down, everything else is just duplicating. And you don't have to do a lot of creative thinking on making each one different. You can just do everything the same print and just let the customer choose and say, hey, I like number three. Uh, let me go with number three. And you can scratch that off your list and you can get all of those crunk out and done. And you can make a nice, a nice cash flow stream coming in for just that. But if you haven't started your Christmas orders yet, 
you need to go ahead and start promoting and pushing that right now. So that way you, uh, you can start training your customers or your clients to start go ahead and putting those purchase orders in. Uh, and then you can just don't even have to worry about being bogged down and overwhelmed this Christmas season. I encourage you to do that every year, uh, boys and girls. And that way you can maximize your profits, minimize your workload, and then you're not overwhelmed. Now, to go to the next part of this video, um, I was down at Tandy and I was talking to the GM down at Tandy uh, in Birmingham. And he was filling me in on some things that I really didn't know. I kind of had a general idea, but I'm glad that he explained it to me. And I don't know if I touched on this in another video, but I want to touch on this real quick. And it's about grading, grading leather. Now, and I think this is a very important jewel or, or nugget, golden nugget of information that all crafters need to understand. Um, in a couple of the leathers deals or leathers pages that I'm a member of or uh, um, I'm, I'm on those pages, everybody is on the Horwin leather craze. Now, Horwin leather, Horween, H-O-R-W-E-E-N, that is the brand. That is the brand. There is no special process on Horwing cows or whatever other cows that are different from uh, Tandy, your superior oak or your English uh, leather. Now, I think I touched on this. I do because now it's coming back to my brain that I talked about the uh, different ways that uh, European cows are raised than over here in America, which that is still true today. A lot of European cattle farmers, they don't use barbed wire fences. They let them graze naturally. They let them eat natural things as to their habitat. And they don't put a lot of super grow on them like we do in the United States. Because over here in the U.S., the demand for beef is, is just like it is for chicken. You know, so we, a lot of companies do a lot of things that will alter the flesh or the hide of the animal especially in this leather crafting world. That's why you'll see a lot of the European hides. They have a more yellowish, uh, natural tan look than the, the cow hides that we have over here. They're a little bit darker, almost like a khaki color, almost. And yes, they do tool different. They do tool different, and they do receive tooling and burnishing very different. But what I want to talk about is the grades. You know, now uh, a lot of the companies, a lot of the, the craft and supply stores, uh, whether it be at Tandy, Springfield, Weaver, or Frog Jelly, or whoever else is out there that's selling the hides themselves, yeah, each one of them have an A, B, C, and D grade. Now, don't be dismayed and go out there and spend a whole bunch of money on A grade leather and you're thinking you're getting the top of the, the best of the best. Because let me tell you, as what I was informed on, there's only one person that is grading the hides. There's only one person that's grading the hides. There's not a team of people that's coming in and saying, well, this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. You only have one or two people, and that's just in the event that the main guy is out and he's not there to grade. But the, you can have something that's listed as a D grade, and I want to explain this real quick before I got to get out of here and go to this seminar. A D grade, it can go from A to D very quickly by simply removing the brand, the branding iron from that hide. So with the brand on there and a lot of cattle ranchers and a lot of these people that are selling the hides to, these, to, to the leather supply stores, they don't want their brand to be on the cow hide, so they'll cut that out, however big it is. Now you got a big hole in the middle of that hide, and that just dropped it from A grade to C or D grade, just that simple, just that quick. A lot of times it's not always about the uh, weakening of the flesh. Now, sometimes you can choose a hide that might be a little weak uh, in that particular part, of the flesh mostly that happens around the belly part because the belly even uh on us as humans around the belly and some parts of our skin is not as 
thick as the skin on our feet or on our hands. So when they're uh, skinning these animals, it can tend to be a little weak. But you guys know as well as I know, as a crafter, we'll just simply draw that straight line out with our uh, with our yardstick or whatever you're using to to um, to line those up or square those up, and we just cut that part off. Now that's not to say that that part can't be used on another project because you can take that same hide that's a little weak in that area and you if you know how to reinforce that and I'll probably do a video on that later on down the road once I get to a hide that has a little weak pot, uh, spot in it to show you how to reinforce that and most crafters all we'll do is just put a calf skin lining or a goat skin lining or a pig lining over that part to just give it a little bit more strength now it's still leather it's still leather and you still can tool it, you still can uh, carve on it, you can still do a whole lot. You just can't get the in as deep uh, as an impression or a burnish on those particular pieces as you could others. But the main thing is you don't have to keep going out here and thinking, oh, well, this is hard with leather, or this is European leather, and this is superior oak, and this is the best of the best leather. It all gets tanned in the same drums. It's all go, it all goes through the same process as what I was told. It all goes through the same process. And then this one guy is pulling it out saying, uh, that's a B. And it goes on that palette. Uh, that's a C or that's an A. That's a D. And it goes on these different palettes. But it's all based on a lot of different variables. A lot of different variables could be tick bites, range marks. Uh, tick bites is well. You get everybody knows what a tick is. Range marks are generally if that if that cow has rubbed up against a nail on the fencing post or a piece of the barbed wire or uh, it might have gotten some kind of cut or scar. All of those things will start counting down on the grades, but it's still hides that can be used. And if you are a, a especially if you are a stamping crafter or a carving. Uh, crafter, you guys know a background or two can cover up those scar marks. A background or two uh, can, can cover up the tick bites. Tooling, your tools can cover up a lot of stuff. And it still doesn't lessen the value of your product. We just have to work a little bit harder on that to make that product comes out to be the best of the best. It's still going to hold together. Cowhide is cowhide, unless you're working with bison, kangaroo, elephant, or some of these other more expensive hides. But that's because those hides are a lot more tighter as far as the fibers into the hide themselves. And that's what makes them last a little bit longer. But, hey guys, I didn't want to hold you long. I just wanted to drop those jewels to you to let you know, don't be dismayed about all these different grades of hides because you can. Now, one thing that I will tell you is if you're ordering online or over the phone, yes, most of the time these suppliers are so busy, they're just going back and they're just pulling the one off the top. Unless you have that kind of relationship with your supplier that they know what type of hide you generally buy. Now, me, myself, my leather supplier is an hour away, a little bit over an hour away. So to me, it's just like a good field trip. I can go down there and go through the hides and I can pick and choose the ones that I like. Um, because it, that's why they give you that wide range. Well, these hides range from eight to 24 feet or I mean uh, if they're running a special they might say 8 to 10 square feet or these hides run 18 to 24 square feet because most of the time they're just going to go and pull what's off the top. Now if you have the chance and you have the opportunity to go down there and pull and pick and choose your own pieces then you guys will know all of that stuff is right there on the table together. So you can go and get you some nice C grades that can pass for A grades, you just got to go and know how to pick and choose. So don't be dismayed about all of these different types of leather. All of these is just brands. Superior Oak is the brand. That's, that doesn't mean it's a superior cow. Horween is not, that's the brand. 
That's the brand of the company that produces those levels. Now, they may have somebody in their grading system that only selects something that Horween will say, hey, we'll put our name to it, but it's still uh, uh, not too much far off as uh, A, B, C, or D grade level. So with that, I'm going to get out of here, you guys. I got to go and sit in on this seminar again. If you guys have an opportunity where Damon John's team, the guy from Shark Tank, is coming into your area, please go. It's a free seminar, and he's dropping jewels on how to push and scale your business out there, especially in this leather crafting world. It'll be something that's great for you guys to jump on. I know here in Alabama, he's going to be in Huntsville. He's in Gaston today. He'll be in Birmingham twice, and then he'll be in Montgomery, Alabama twice. So if you're anywhere around those areas, you need to go and just learn some good tips and good nuggets from a shark. This man is a multimillionaire, hundred millionaire. So he's not just a one or two. He's like a one or two hundred millions. So, and those are some good tips that you can use and, uh, and apply to your business as well. This is the Leather Cowboy right here for me and Leather Crafters in the Dirty South. I got to get out of here, guys. But don't forget, go ahead and start your Christmas items right now. Uh, uh, put Promoting and pushing your Christmas projects so you don't be overwhelmed. Hey, y'all keep it crafting as always. Practice, 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 and work on your crafts. You can only get better. You know, I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.